How's it eating chocolate bean pudding in the morning? It's pretty good. It's not bad. It's very cold. Being in the fridge. I usually have it in Tupperware. What are you eating this morning? Good morning. Happy New Year. It is 7. 26, my coffee is ready. We are starting, are you okay, Bobo? Too much cookie? Want some milk? You're okay. Okay. Um, we are starting the year off with a one day vegan <laughs> cleanse. <laughs> it is bean pudding. Bean chocolate pudding, people. So my husband and I have done this cleanse a couple times and we, um, usually do it for three or four days. You're supposed to do it for four days. And when you do it for four days, you... She wants this camera. <gasps> Say hi! <laughs> what do you think? When you do it for four days, you lose so much weight. You're starving, but like, I swear, like I could feel every inch of my body just shrink. But I just don't have it in me to eat chocolate bean pudding for four days. I'm just gonna do like a one day restart. Um, so, hi, Boo Boo. My husband ate his already this morning. And um, you're allowed to have one coffee. So, I have coffee with soy creamer. Landon, you got, I don't know why you're so into wanting to be on camera. I mean, I can see, you know, your hand, you're cute. You want some milk? Good girl. So I'm gonna have my coffee and then you're supposed to have your first pudding within an hour of waking up. So I woke up around a little around seven, so I'm gonna feed her a bottle and then have my pudding at 8 a.m. It's the hardest part is having chocolate pudding for breakfast. Um, I just have to tell myself it's chocolate. You're eating chocolate, Laura. Decadent chocolate. This takes me a while for me to eat it, especially in the morning. It's gonna take me like 30 minutes. We're gonna sit here, Landon's playing, enjoying the last days of our Christmas tree. I'm trying to get through the Lindsay Lohan show. It's not very good. I tried to watch it last night and couldn't finish it. I need more Lindsay Lohan crazy. Did you guys see the Oprah special? It was so good. The crazy was out of control. So the cleanse is from Cynthia Sass. <laughs> Book, I'll put a link. I think it's called Slim Down Now. I'll put a link below and I'll show you a picture of it. So you do it for four days. I'm just doing it for one, but I've done it for four days. And I usually lose like a pound a day. My husband can lose a pound and a half to two pounds a day. And, um, yeah, like I said, you just shrink down. It's, if you read the book, it's really interesting. You learn all about, like, your hunger cues. And, because when I get hunger pains, I get, like, anxiety and, like, like I need food. And it kind of resets your brain, like, no, 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 it's normal. You should feel hungry throughout the day and not have anxiety about it. And also resets to, it's a cleanse, so it's very healthy foods and there's no salt or sugar, and um, the things you drink on it, you can have coffee in the morning, she says with coconut milk, so I just use soy creamer, and unsweet iced tea, and then she has this like special tea that she makes, it's like a chai tea, which I've made before, it's pretty good, and I think that's it. <laughs> Why do you love this so much? <laughs> It is 1 p.m. and um, baby is down for her second nap. Um, so I'm gonna have some chamomile tea. Chamomile tea. It's just regular with no sugar or anything in it. You're allowed to have a little sugar with your coffee, which I didn't do. So I could make one tea with some a packet of sugar if I wanted, but I like chamomile tea just plain. So I. So at 1.20, it'll be five hours since I started my first pudding at 8.20. And then my husband usually gets home like between 6, 6.30. So that way it's spaced out every five hours and we can eat our puddings together. 
um, tonight. I am really hungry and I'm starting to get a little lightheaded. And that's part of the reason why I didn't want to do the four days is because I didn't want to have like the detox feeling of being lightheaded and just cranky and all that with the baby all day. Um, so this is just like a good one day restart to get started and see probably like a pound come off tomorrow morning on the scale. Um, so yeah, so it's one o'clock. I'm going to enjoy my tea and then 20 minutes have pudding number two. And you're supposed to have eight glasses of water, which is not a big deal for me. It's really easy for me to drink water. I drink it all the time. But you can't have bubbly water. I have to read up on it. I was just like reading through her book some more. So um, I don't know why I love LaCroix. I would like to have some LaCroix water. Finished the tea and it actually really helped with my hunger. And I got a new Apple Watch for Christmas and I absolutely love it. But one of the, the things it does is it will randomly say like do a minute of breathing to relax. So as soon as I finished my tea, it just came on. So I did a nice minute of breathing and it helps relax you and just helps you get in tune, I think, with your body and clear your mind. So I am going for pudding number two. It's exactly 120. Probably will take me about 20 minutes or so to finish this. I'm not the biggest fan, but it fills your body up. It's good food for you. Just have to get through it. <laughs> okay, so I will see you guys in like five hours. It's five o'clock. I'm so hungry. I really just want like a pizza. Like a pe like carbs, like a piece of bread, a cracker. I guess I'll be drinking water. The last pudding. I couldn't finish and then she woke up from her nap. So I got like two thirds of it down and then an hour later I finished it. I have a headache. I'm tired. I, th I need a nap. She just went down for a little nap. I'm tired, lightheaded, and very hungry. Pudding day dinner. <laughs> it's not, oh, it is pudding day dinner. Mm -hmm. The last pudding of the day. Here we are. She's still napping. Did you put your napkin on your lap, Phil? This is so sad and pathetic. We're being very British. We're having tea and pudding. Phil has some peppermint tea. I have some chamomile tea, and we have pudding. How are you feeling? I'm hungry. I'm so hungry. I want to eat this. <laughs> I'm so hungry. <laughs> and lightheaded and ready for a nap. I'm going to bed early tonight. Otherwise, I'd eat something. How's it taste? It tastes pretty good. The hungrier you get, the better it tastes. It's true. Remember we did four days of this? Mm-hmm. It was right before we went to Europe. I don't know how. I don't know how we did it. <laughs> you get used to it, and I think, like, your stomach shrinks so much you get used to it. Don't you? Maybe. I, just, I don't think I can do it with the baby. Like, I'm home all day just taking care of the baby. I need to have, like, my wits about me. <laughs> you lose your wits with this a little bit, don't you? So we're going to finish pudding, and then I'll probably put... Look in the description below, and I'll put um, how much weight we lost in 24 hours. I better have lost a pound. You probably will lose like 1.5. Look at our new beautiful light fixture. <gasps> it's so pretty. Phil's mom got it for us for Christmas. How would you like to end it? It's delicious. It's so good. Thanks for watching. If you want to do the cleanse, then check out the link below. I put the book below. And then here's a video of me making the first pudding. I made six of them. You can only do one at a time. She says you can't do it in a big batch because it can mess up the recipe. You want to make sure you get all the nutrients in every meal. I was just informed we have a cheater in our ranks. Was it a mini size? Yeah, it was one of the little tiny, tiny ones. Tiny, tiny, Mr. Goodbar. I didn't cheat at all. How many coffees, yeah?
too. Cheater.